Hello, The Kodiak here bringing you a quick video tutorial on how to create a 3D map using ReefMaster software and your sonar logs. First what we want to do is go ahead and open up ReefMaster. Select your current workspace. If you don't have one, you can go ahead and create one. Okay, you can clearly see where I like to spend my time on the water, but at the moment it's not about where I like to go, it's about creating this 3D map. Here in Baffin Bay you can see all the sonar logs I have, and before we import our logs and waypoints what we want to do is make sure that all the settings are correct and relate to your GPS. You can also select your tide station, but at this moment we are not going to uh, apply it, the tides. We're just looking to create our 3D map. Okay, now to import your sonar logs, here you can see I'm using the SL3, which is from the uh, Lorance HDS Gen 3. And I have them already saved on my hard drive, and I've already imported all of them which takes quite a bit of time uh, depending on your computer I'm going to go ahead and select one right click control A add tracks to map we're going to go ahead and create a new project we're going to call this 3D map allow it to load up now you're going to see all the this trails that I recorded while I've been out there. Uh, right now we're going to focus on Center Reef. Make sure I like to have my uh, contours at one foot. The, I'd like to limit the minor range between 1 to 20 feet. Um, basically it's it's a personal preference. Baffin Bay doesn't get that deep so I don't really go too too far out. Okay once we have that squared away we want to go ahead and define the area which we want to create the 3D map. Once you have that defined go ahead and generate your map. Once completed it's going to bring up your 2D map with contours and shaded relief. Excuse me, not shaded relief, the depth shading. There we go. Now go ahead and select 3D view and we're going to angle it to whatever angle you want and we're going to go ahead and scale the uh, the surface and there you go you've just created your 3D map now these maps are not to be used for navigation purposes they're only for references but thank you for watching and I'll catch you out in the water.